Hi, this is Vishan Boric from Team Tough, also known as the Tough Mama, and we are back with Experiment 6. I will tell you before we roll the intro, Experiment 6 is going to be broken into two parts because it's a big one. And I will be introducing part two towards the end of this video because you'll need to get a few supplies. So make sure you watch until the end. So let's roll the intro. So here's the question, is it possible to affect the physical world with your attention? Scientists have discovered, and I'm sure you have too, that if your body and muscles are exposed to harmful substances, that it affects you in a negative way. On the contrary, if your body is exposed to positive and therapeutic substances, that it affects you in a positive way. This should not be any big news to you. You know that if you put good foods into your body, you're going to have better health. If you put poor foods and diet into your body, you're, you're going to not have good health. But what you may not know is that scientists have also discovered that your thoughts and emotions and intellectual stimuli can also affect your physical body. I know it blew my mind as well. So that's what this experiment six is all about. We're going to test and see if that theory is, is accurate. Can you affect the growth of something or affect your own body for that matter just by your thoughts and what you say? Uh, I'll give you an example. One of the things that was discussed in the book that I'm reading on this, and if you've been following along, the, the book that I got this from is called E Squared by Pam Grout great book and that's where I pulled all of these experiments so for those of you that want to follow along or move ahead in these experiments be sure to get that book one of the things that they discussed was a scientist and I can't pronounce his name so I won't butcher it here but there's a scientist that she mentioned that did an experiment with water crystals and it sounds really bizarre but this scientist spoke to the water in positive loving terms like I love this water it's beautiful and it's it's gorgeous and as it did it it looked at these water crystals that were forming as it was freezing and it formed the most beautiful water crystals now this same scientist did the exact same experiment with everything the same with one exception. Instead of saying positive and loving words to the water, he spoke negative things. Oh, this water is ugly, it's dirty, I don't like it, it's polluted. And you know what happened? Those water crystals never formed into the beautiful uh, symmetrical crystalline form that you might see in a snowflake. So I thought that was fascinating. Just his words affected the water crystals. Look it up. You can Google it and I'm sure you can find more information and maybe even pronounce that scientist's name. Uh, but this experiment or this part one of the experiment has to do with kinesiology, which basically means your muscles. So here's what I want you to do. It's a very simple test. You're going to take your hand and you're going to use your middle finger and your thumb and make a loop on your right hand. Left hand, do the same, okay? So you've got them linked together like chains. Now what you're gonna do is you're going to apply pressure so that they're just barely holding together. I'm really applying the pressure. And then you're going to say something that is true. You're going to say like your name. My name is Vishan and I'm still pulling and they're not pulling apart. Now if I say something else like my name is Julia Roberts, <laughs> it's amazing. And, I, and I'm trying to maintain the pressure. Uh, so you can test this theory and you'll see that if you tell a truth that your fingers should remain solid and unable to be pulled apart. If you're telling a falsehood about yourself or a negative quality about yourself, then it will break apart. So try that out. This is part one, like I said, of experiment six. And in the meantime, here's what I'd like you to do. Comment below on the blog and tell me what you experienced with the little kinesiology test. But then I'd also like you to go ahead and get some supplies because part two of experiment six is going to require you to have some supplies. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need an egg carton, preferably cardboard, but if you just have an egg carton that's styrofoam, that'll work as well. You'll also need some potting soil, which you should be able to find pretty easily at most stores, uh, especially a big superstore or something like that. Uh, the other thing that you'll need are some green bean seeds. 
okay you're going to need 24 of them minimum so those shouldn't cost too much at the store but you're gonna want to go ahead and get those pull them together and then on the next video tomorrow I will share with you what we're gonna do and how this experiment can really help you to see if your intentions and focus can actually affect physical matter all right, see you on the next video. Again, this is Vishan Boric from Team Tough. Visit my blog at thetoughmamablog.com. You'll see the web address right here.